The goal of the visit of the journalist group to Turkey was to establish links with Gars mass media and NGOs, and then to organize a visit of the Turkish colleagues and a friendly football match in Gars and Kumri between the two teams which were to be formed during this period. It was necessary to feel the existing atmosphere, to understand the level of the Gars people's readiness to carry out this project. Late in May and early in June, the group led by Levon Barsoyan, the council chairman of Asparis Club NGO, made a working visit to Gars. We stopped at Gars Hotel Simer, which brand uh, symbol is Noisk Ark, and the first place we all agreed to visit was the Gars Apostolic Church. The church was turned into a mosque long ago and was locked now. Kumbet Chami was written on a sign, which means tower, a mosque. To enter the church, it was necessary to find a Muslim priest, to ask him to open the church and to take off the shoes before entering. This is the rule. Cars didn't seem alien to us. The old town was like Gyumri, the new town, which was ten times bigger than the old one, was much more uninteresting. In the old town, the architecture was a combination of the old and the new in the most possible amount. The same development was visible in all the layers of the society, which is the same as in Gyumri. Before our visit, the unknown cars created some sense of alarm. But when we got to know the town, it's started to seem close to us. The city is a contrast one. You can see both women and girls with a scarf and open-hearted ones. The scarf is a sign of belonging to a traditional family, but in certain cases this is a means of making a fetish the tradition. Otherwise, the fact of wearing a scarf would have never inner obligations coming from it. The abundance of shops is striking in cars, as it is in Gyumri. In hundreds of wholesome and rental small shops and modern many storage shops you can find everything. And the cheese and groceries, confectionery, especially red lohum and legume, honey and beeswax are presented here in dozens of types. At present, the population of cars is about the same as it was in 2000, about 78,500 people. Walking the streets, you have an impression that the majority of the population in Gars is the elderly people, and the only conclusion is that the migration of the young is big. The city seems to become old, though this is this may only be an impression. When we asked Sally Sahin, the editor of the newspaper Olcek, what is the percentage of the Turk and Kurd population in Gars, he said, there is no official statistics on this. The Turks and Kurds have molded here long before. By the way. We didn't manage to get the answer to this question up to the end. Concerning comparison, if we take into consideration the existence of military units and simply the soldiers working in the towns with guns or watching from observation posts or the busy rides of the military cars in the town, cars looks like Gyumri in its sense as well. The highest symbol of cars is the tower, cars castle, or as they say in cars kala. You can see the pictures of the castle everywhere. In the visit cards, Calendars, if you look northwest, just in front of you, on the top of the mountain and inside everyone's hearts. Our meeting with Mukadir, Yardim Jelly and Pedir Altkli, the correspondents of the big Turkish information agencies Dogan Haber Azans and Ilhas Haber Azans were the first one. A tea shop is one of the most preferable places for a friendly talk in a midday hut. In an open-air place, the head of the Armenian group presented to them the goal of our visit to Gars. Our interlocutor agreed that the close border Armenia-Turkey is an artificial obstacle for the two people's contacts, while the opening of the border may be a spur for the economic and cultural relations of the bordering regions. On the other side, there are forces in both countries that constantly sow enmity between each other. We have heard from our grandfathers that the Armenians lived here. The 40 years old editor went on. It's true that it's our government that closed the border now, but also wonder what will happen to the position of the Armenian diaspora who has undertaken intolerance towards Turkey. We have a tradition when after a quarrel between two people, one of them must hold a hand to the other as a sign of peace. Up to now, I have been and I am still waiting for Armenia to hold a hand up to us. 
Bella remembers that when he was young, the word Armenian was considered a curse. But these times they are already in the past. The Armenians now are accepted as a unique nation and he personally, he says, also as a friend. The journalists of Gars are for establishment of friendly relations with all the neighboring countries. As Levon Barsayan underlined, we as members of a journalistic organization, being far from any political orientation, nevertheless, as personalities, have our sympathies and antipathies. Thus, it took us three years to raise funds for implementation of this project. And now, when our visit has become possible through grant support of the USA Embassy in Armenia, we have nothing to do but to believe in realization of the ideas. Mukadir assured that we are friends, and participation in the projects of the friends is itself a good fact. We are supporters of living in peace with Armenia, assures Mukadir Yarjbel. And then, when the AOA with Armenia is open, why are the roadways closed? If Armenia is blockaded because of Karabakh, then the the same rule should be in force for Istanbul. The links between peoples undergo a certain natural phenomena. For example, a citizen of a certain country may not know the president of France, but it is quite normal that he will read and know French writers. The art and literature have the ability to make people closer. Football has the same ability. Mukadir thinks that one of the reasons of tension in the relations between Armenia and Turkey is the Armenian diaspora ramming in the past quite often, which of course raises worry here. Nevertheless, it is interesting to know what the general feeling is here in Gars, what people think about the reopening of the border. There is a psychological pressure here that the Armenians do not like the Turks. We came to Armenia and witnessed the fact it is absolutely not like this. To tell the truth, we have never thought like that. It has always seemed to me that the Armenians aren't intolerant to us, but the dictated atmosphere makes an influence on the people. According to him, the border opening is an issue to be settled on the government level. But if it is viewed from the point of view of the population, he assures that many of the cars people would like to have an open border. As for the friendly football match, Mokadir was the forward of their village team and would certainly like to play in Gyumri. In 2004, on the initiative of Kars municipality, a campaign on collecting signatures was organized in the city. The people gave their signature on the issue if they would like to have the eastern border reopened. The result of this action showed that 50,000 people are for the border reopening. It is worth mentioning that the population of Kars is 78,500 people, and the population of Kars province is about 300,000 people. In reply to the question if the local mass media are able to form public opinion, or they are simply information providers, Mukadir answered that both situations exist. Among the progressive media, he mentioned Kimush Palak or Tagis newspaper, Kars Haber, where there are a lot of publications with deep underlying meaning. In general, Mukadur has good relations with all the local mass media. On the eve of elections, we direct the people to vote for those candidates who are for friendship with the border countries. We should not forget that the big party was once small. The majority of the journalists working here think like this. Of course, there are two or three of them who are of opposite opinion. They are nationalists. By the way, the surname Yardmjel means a supporting hand, a supporter, so we can say that his behavior is in in tune with his surname. Nine daily newspapers are published in Gars, six days a week. There are no summer or winter holidays here. If you know that something costs 10 million in one place, it is the same as 10 new Turkish flyers. So the price of the local newspapers here varies between 26-65 trams. Both paper and paints are produced in Turkey. In reply to our question if the newspaper business is sensible in Gars from the business point of view, all the interlocutor journalist answered that in spite of strong competitiveness, there is progress. It becomes obvious that the cars with a population of 78,500 people, 2,300 up to 2,600 copies of local newspapers are consumed daily. During the elections, the circulation of local newspapers increases up to 70-80%. As a rule. Local newspapers widely use the information, articles and and photographs of the Turkish information agencies. They are subscribed to these agencies' informative flows, and it often happens that the same news or picture about an important event 
may appear in several newspapers at the same time. For example, this happened on the second day of our visit, when the articles and pictures about our visit were received from information agencies and were published in several Kars newspapers. Mukadir was mainly introducing to us this mass media, which to some extent had weight in the city and could be of certain interest to us. The newspaper Olchuk, founded by Sali Shahin, has been published since 1991. Olchuk is a daily, like the other eight ones in cars. Circulation is 600 copies. Retail price in 10 grush, about 26 drums. Sali Shahin is a pensioner, a musician, a collector of national songs. He's also an author of books. He used to be a correspondent of one of respectable newspapers in Turkey, Hudiyet. He also owns a shop of stringled musical instruments and he received us in his shop. As we could guess, Sali Shahin was one of the respected and influential intelligence here, and his main business was the trade of musical instruments and equipment, and only then the newspaper won. When this pleasant and lovely man learned about our nationality and the goal of our visit, he gladly welcomed and asked us in. At first the conversation was about the journalistic work. After the official strengthening of the press monitoring, it was the press that suffered the worst, says Mr. Shaheen. The publications became less interesting. This is in its turn influenced the demand and consequently the circulation was reduced. In case of spreading wrong information, the prosecutor's office starts to interfere, up to bringing actions. In case of small misprints, the newspapers get warning. In such situation, the old chick prefers to keep the balance and keep away from the right or left flows. Sali Shahin cheered up at once when Levon Barsoyan presented the goal of our visit and the project. We are very glad and sure that today both states need approaching. And if the people want this, then the journalists should support the border reopening. Mr. Shine thinks that the policy of intolerance towards Turkey is being made in France. Naturally, they are not happy with it. So he asks the question, is the unnecessary tension needed? During the Eurovision contest, the Armenian singer received the highest score from Turkey. But our singer didn't receive any score from Armenia. But I think that your visit may become a key to the friendship of our cities. After the friendly conversation with the editor of the Olchuk, the meeting with Fikri Durgun started a bit unexpectedly. After learning the goal of our visit, he said that it is unrealistic until the Karabakh issue is not settled. Azerbaijan is a brother country, and I cannot agree to the border reopening. In this situation, it is not in our interest not to support them. Such a step can do big harm to our relations. Levon Barsayan mentioned that we are gathering opinions, and from, from this point of view, it is also interesting to know his opinion. On the other hand, he reminded that we are journalists and we can build our opinion irrespective of anything. Meanwhile, the chairman of the journalist's local union, Yujel Seges, who was preliminary being informed about and knew the reason of our visit, entered the editorial office, where colleagues and desired guests for him. Cesar is sure that the media of Kumri and Kars may become a link for the two peoples. Simply there was a need of this flesh for it. When the border was open, he often had contacts with the Armenians. The Armenians called him Ararat Jan for special respect to them from his side. Ararat Jan personally knows Levonte Petrosian. Now he's a respect for Robert Kocharyan, because he represents a whole nation. He used to meet Armenians in the train where the railroad was functioning and invited them two cars for a walk. He inspires trust, and the Armenians came and got sure that there is no danger for them here. Later many groups followed them. On the other words, the excess of Armenians to cars became alive. In 1991-1992, the Armenians were coming through Tokukabi. This is the last railway station to the Armenia. Then there is the border, and further is the station Ahurik in Armenia, cars and went to Syria. I was a journalist. I said to the Armenians, come, let me show your cars, but they were afraid. They didn't come. They said that the cars people would kill them. There was an Armenian by the surname Janikyan. He spoke Turkish fluently. I said to him, am I a bad man? Do I leave such impression? Let's go, trust me. I will gladly show you the city. Finally, several women, girls, men agreed. 
I showed them the city, I said, they are my friends. I treated them to Gar's barbecue. Then they sent other groups and told them to find Ararat Jan. In 1991, I personally had a meeting with government in Thai cities. I persuaded them to open a market where the Armenians could trade, explained to them its importance, and I reached my goal. When the market issue was settled, there was no vacant space in the hotel. The Armenians started to be on visits to the houses of the Turks, give their goods to them for keeping. There was trust towards each other. I personally had asked the jewelers not to cheat the Armenians. Our 55-year-old colleague was telling this in a very impressive and artistic way. His behavior and way of speaking inspired trust, so we were listening to him for about an hour. In March 1993, when the border was closed, there were about 500 people from Armenia in Gars, who were afraid to leave Turkey through Sarpi border point, but the government had thought about their security. After it, Ujel Sezer did his best for the reopening of the border. In 1997, in Chankaya, he met President Suleyman Demirel and didn't fail to tell the truth. In winter 1992, I saw three Armenians in Gars market. They were cold. I brought them kebab. They asked me, are you Armenian? I said, no, I'm Turk. We got embraced, greeted each other. We must not forget that though Azerbaijan is Turkey's friend, Armenia is our neighbor. We have to live side by side. Caesar's every word is underlined. And the interesting thing is that Fikri Durgun, who spoke so enthusiastically about friendly interest with the Azerbaijans, now was following the conversation where I attentively, and was not trying to intervene it. He only reminded that his ancestors were from Kulibulak. Let's not make the revenge deeper. Let's solve the facing problems on our own, goes on Caesar. Imagine, someone's tanky got lost, and there is someone else who is looking for the tanky. I want to say that the problems of Armenia and Turkey will not be solved by others. Mr. Caesar also says that he's a public speaker, has presented his approaches in high instances several times. Armenia is under the influence of diaspora, the other part is under the influence of Russia or the USA. But we are foreseeing people, we must improve our relations. Let's try. Your being here itself is already a step forward. We are glad you did it. I've been writing for 10 years that the friendship with Armenians is necessary for us. I've been one of the most active initiators of the border reopening. I have been suspected to be an Armenian and in Azerbaijan I was declared betrayer, while my wish is to look at both Azerbaijan and Armenia with the same worth. Armenia has a big nation, the Armenians have 5000 year old history, and they must be loved and respected. Rancor will never blossom. Showing a yellowish painted building on the opposite side of the street, Caesar said that it was built by an Armenian 115 years ago. The black stones were brought from Tignis. It is two years that the walls of the buildings are being colored, but it does not accept it. And in general, being a very open and honest man, just Caesar is for protection of everything natural. There is only one TV company in Gars, in contrast to Kumri. It is the property of the city municipality. Serhat TV is also the only radio broadcaster in the town. Let's say for comparison that there is no TV in Ardahan, there are two of them in Erzurum with a population of about 365,000 people. When we told to Ozgur Turguli, the head of the Holdings Project Department, and other employees that there are four TV companies and three radio stations in Kumri, they were surprised at the number. As a TV company, Serhat was established in 1993. At that time, Naif Ali Peyogli was not the city mayor. The radio station was founded in 1994. There have been 16 hours of broadcasting daily, and exact policy directed to the enlargement of their own program's assortment. Specialists on the topic of the program or devoted people are involved in this process, and not TV journalists. The time makes these people more experienced and they become demanded specialists, they become involved in radio and TV programs. The feature he met Gunut and the chief producer Mustafa Uchayeli assure that the most expensive capital in Serhar is the human resources. Five, six journalists work on the news reels. Mainly the working visits of the city mayor and the activities of the municipality are treated. Taking into account the variety of the programs in Serhat, we asked Osgul if they would like the programs prepared 
prepared by Gyumri TV companies to be shown in there either with synchronic translation. He answered, why not after preliminary watching? Osgul Trugul also mentioned that everybody in their holding is interested in the border reopening. And as if a guarantee to his words, the song Sari Akhchik, that is a girl from the mountains, began on the radio. An Armenian melody spread through cars either. As journalists, we naturally wondered about the limits of freedom of speech in Turkey. Kumush Palak Ortak was quite frank on the issue of freedom of speech while speaking to us. He mainly writes on political issues. The obstinacy of Kortaki journalists is not an easy thing for Kortaki editor. The authorities are not pleased with him. Ninety actions have been taken against the editor in one year. One of them is exactly by the municipality claim. The case has reached the court of cassation, but he has managed to keep the newspaper so far. According to Kumush Pala, the fact of the closed border is becoming a reason for not only mutual economical losses, but also a nationalistic mood. He wrote about it in his newspaper article on April 24. Almost all the media of the town reacted to the call of our visit. The interview with Levon Barsarian together with the pictures was placed in the press, but the interest towards our visit was not only with the mass media. The representatives of the security service approached us at St. Arakelo Church, greeted us very politely and wondered what we were shooting. We explained to them, we are shooting a film about city of cars, particularly about mass media and public structures. They explained to us their rules, according to which we had to fill in a number of documents, submit them to the regional office of cars to the Department of Culture, Science and Tourism and get corresponding permission. Of course, they also mentioned that we would hardly have any problems. Really, everything went on smoothly. Simply, we had an unforeseen waste of time on this procedure. And the waste of time itself meant something. It meant that we would miss something. On the other hand, we were following such a tough schedule that we did manage to be everywhere.